reading about our subject gives us a deeper understanding of what is already known, which will assist you to guide your questions. Literature. The literature is important when considering your ideas and arguments. Literature review has two main purposes. One is to evaluate existing research related to your topic, and two, to position your argument within existing research. It demonstrates the relationship between existing research and your project. In a literature review, you identify the gap. Once you identify the gap that your research will aim to fill, you demonstrate the relationship between the existing research and your project. You are making an argument that research still needs to be done. The review, the literature is, is major work published about your topic. So you narrow the topic down. So the literature is major work published about your topic, published peer reviewed sources. The literature informs your questions, methodologies, methods, theories, recommendations, demonstrates your knowledge by citing the sources that have influenced your thinking. A literature review is an exercise in which you search and critically evaluate what is known to date regarding your research question. You are required to write a summary with references, giving an overview of the research and give an overview of the current state of knowledge. Provide a motivation of the studies done by others to inform your research. Highlight key debates and contrasting areas related to your own research. The purpose of a literature review to justify and provide a theoretical framework for your research, to validate assertions of the facts that are related to your research, to identify where your research fits within existing knowledge, to provide a framework for comparing your results, to increase the breadth and knowledge of your subject area to demonstrate you're a reliable researcher. So sources are journals. So journals are one of the best sources of recently published works and books provide a more detailed aspect of a particular piece of research. Bear in mind the publishing time is important too. So you've got Google Scholar, uh, your college, university library as well, how journals are structured, uh, you have an abstract, an introduction, method, results, discussion, and conclusion. The questions you ask around the abstract are as follows. Is the reason for the research question clearly stated? Is the problem clearly stated? Are the argument and rationale for the study convincing? Are primary terms and concepts clearly de defined? Are the author's assumptions made clear? Is previous research described in the introduction? Is there any irrelevant information? The questions to ask around the methodology, what sort of research design is it? Is the design and methodology consistent within the purpose, study purpose? How does the research design relate to the aims of the research? Is it ethical? What are the validity and reliability procedures? Is the study clearly outlined? Can you determine which variable the researchers are measuring? Question to ask around the results, what are the key results? Do the results answer the research question? Is the methodology applied properly? What are limitations of the results? What doesn't the results show? Questions to ask around discussion. How do the results compare to the literature review? What new knowledge has been established? What are the limitations of this new knowledge? What further research questions have been identified? Writing your review, your review, you introduce a study 
demonstrating how it's relevant to your research. You describe the methodology, including participants, any ethical considerations, limitations of method. You outline key findings. You offer a critique of the research. Do you trust the results? Do you have any doubts? How reliable are the results? Give us implications for your research. Are you attempting to prove or to add to this piece of research? So a review, this review generally evolves. So you continue, you come back and revisit what you've put together. Um, you, the more you read, the more insights you get. Um, you should focus on, on where the gaps, what might remain and what gaps are appearing. So we conduct a literature review early in the process of writing the dissertation, although you can return to it as you progress further with any empirical research or practical research you're conducting as your understanding of the topic deepens. New aspects might emerge that require further investigations within the literature. 